my channel. In this video I am going to show you how versatile my Dungaree dress Cleo from Tilly and the Buttons is. I saw this dress in spring 2020 when I also shot most of the footage, which is why you are getting a full blast of spring blooms from my garden in this video. Since then I have worn the dress very frequently, it has become one of my favourite garments. I made my Cleo in the mini version out of a lovely organic cotton corduroy fabric from Atelier Goldfaden, a lovely Swiss fabric shop. Basically, I followed the Tilly and the Buttons pattern, but I wanted to include a little extra, so I decided to make the pocket special and I added a box pleat to the original pocket patterns, as you can see here. After trying on my half-finished Cleo, I had to decide on the placement of the pockets. So I asked you guys on Instagram and while doing that I realized that I actually loved an asymmetrical placement. Thus I now have a pocket on the right side in the front and another one on the left side on the back of my dress. Also I decorated the pockets with some lovely buttons that match the buttons I used to attach the dungaree straps. All the buttons are from Merchant and Mills and bought at Ying Design, another very nice Swiss shop. By the way, this video is not sponsored in any way. And now onto the styling! I searched my wardrobe and was amazed to see how many things I already owned that would match this dress. For the first look I combined my clear with a floral t-shirt. It makes the dress look super cute and summery and it is extremely comfy. To match the summery style I chose to wear my brown Charlie Stone flats. Also, look at this little garden friend! So cute! The second outfit is rather simple with a basic black top, grey tights and black shoes that are tied with ribbons. I love the yellow-black contrast, it really makes the dress stand out. Furthermore, I also like this look because it has an elegant vibe to it. The third outfit has an almost autumnal color palette as I combined the Clio with a green knit top that has a cute bow, rusty brown tights and my brown American Duchess Oxfords. This is a warmer outfit and thus especially suitable for spring and autumn. For the fourth look I wore a blue vintage inspired cardigan with a cute Peter Pan collar under my Clio. I love this colour combination and I think that the solid colours draw the attention to the texture of the fabrics, which is really nice. Again I am wearing my brown flats. The fifth look is a bit more flamboyant than the other ones. The big polka dots and puffy sleeves are quite a statement. Combined with my brown flats, this is a happy, summery look. The sixth outfit is another one with a yellow-blue colour scheme. In addition I am wearing the grey tights and black shoes with the ribbons again. The top is a high neck blouse with, yes, ballerinas on it. Oh, I love this top. For the seventh and last look I have combined my clear with a flowy floral blouse, maroon tights and a brown oxfords. I love this colour palette and I think the colourful tights really make this outfit. Also, I have realised that I apparently had little elderflower blooms in my hair. Well, it's a look! That's a wrap! I really love the fact that this Clio can be styled in so many different ways and I think I will try quite a few of them out in real life. I've already tried out I think two in real life. Up until now I have also two favorites. So let me know what your favorite is in the comments down below. And um, just as a little preview, I have fabric here because I actually wanted to make this a Gryffindor Cleo. So I wanted to make a jumper out of this and then wear the Cleo over top. But then I sort of realized that now um, it's going to get really warm and summery. Well, I won't get much wear out of it at the moment. So I sort of postponed this um, jumper project to fall, 
when I am very much looking forward to making this and I think it will be really really nice and cozy and up until then I'm just using it as a blanket like when I'm chilling in front of the television or something it's really nice and cozy To make the sweater I used the Tilly and the Buttons Freya pattern The fabric is a Mjolsen Free Merino wool fabric again from Atelier Goldfarben I am very happy with how my Cleo and the sweater look together to finish off the outfit, I chose dark green tights and my bait boots with floral embroidery. So I hope you enjoyed this video with all the styling ideas for maybe your Clio if you intend to sew one. I can only say it's a really fun and easy pattern, so maybe if you've never sewed before and you want to get going, go for it. A really easy and manageable pattern super for beginners also because the fabric choice for this project is uh, usually an easy fabric a rather thick fabric not so stretchy slippery so I can absolutely recommend this also as a first ever garment I wish you all a lovely week and I hope you will join me again soon for another creative project bye